Just two months ago, this city hosted the Confederation of African Rugby Tournament. Now, Antana Narivo is trying another sporting showcase, the fifth Wushu Kung Fu African Cup. We have invited uh, about 32 countries for participate in this competition. And finally, we have received the, the confirmation with uh, about 12 countries. And till today, uh, I think have, uh, there has eight countries has already received has already arrived in Madagascar. For the other countries, why they didn't, uh, they didn't, uh, they, they cannot intend this uh, this committee uh, for the reason of the sponsoring. Kung Fu dates back to ancient times in China, and over the centuries, various fighting styles have developed. The likes of Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, and Jet Li have popularized Kung Fu worldwide. In Africa, there's a small but passionate following. We have three athletes in Sanda, especially in Sanda. It means in fighting. So we participate because firstly to win and uh, secondly to get experiences. When organizing a tournament in Africa, the big challenge usually for the organizers is ticket sales. And the Wushu African Cup team has already put in place a plan to ensure that these gymnasium fields during the tournament. For the ceremony opening, we plan uh, for uh, the 10,000 Aliari, about uh, five, five US dollars for the ceremony opening. But for the, the, the normal implementation, the 6th to 8th September, just uh, the price is just uh, 3,000, like 1, 1.5 US dollars. Kung Fu features two disciplines at major competitions, Sanda, which is a fighting contest, and Taolu, which is for demonstration. The winners will receive medals and gifts from the sponsors. Salasin Karone, CCTV, in Antananarivo, Madagascar.